Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I had all this stuff out today. I thought I would do a couple of shots for my Instagram page. Um, so I had all my little light box set up and my figures out. And while I had them out, I thought, why not? I showed them off a little bit, doing a small review on them. Um, so this is the entire set. So we've got all the Ninja Turtles, April, uh, Foot Soldier Tommy and Shredder. So, for the sake of keeping this video easy and not confusing myself, I am unfortunately going to call them by their colours. Um, just to save myself any confusion. So, don't get offended by that. Do apologise, but I'm just going to make it easy for myself. So, start off with, I've got a couple of the boxes at the back. I haven't bought all of them out just because they are all the same apart from... The differences in these two so i'm just going to show you a little bit of these um so if you can see them i've got so much stuff here we've got the shredder box at the back here which is let me just lift this up so this is a new size box for us so we haven't seen this one before um it is what it is it has the nice artwork at the side wrapping around onto the corner as do all the others, or most of the others. And then we've got our 3D render on the back. A uh, small shredder picture, which looks really, really nice for those uh, inbox collectors. And then our window at the front. And then just on the top, we've got our Power Rangers Lightning Collection and Ninja Turtles at the top. So that's that. And then this one here is the same as what we get pretty much for all our two packs so um, maybe not as wide um but there's a lot crammed in there so we've got april and mikey on the front there and then again we are wrapping around to the sides same old stuff as the other one just in a longer box and then our 3d render on the back so I don't want to go too much into the box. It is a box. And it is what it is. And then I will start off at the front. So here we've got Mikey and April. Or April and Yellow. So the pink mould is pretty much what we've seen already. Uh, minus the skirt. So the big difference there is the fact that she doesn't have a skirt. Other than that, everything is the same. So we've got the nice power coin in the middle there. Um, a holster on the side, which does come with her weapon. So we can snugly fit that in there. She comes with quite a few accessories, to be fair. Um, obviously, she's got her camera and her microphone. So this is just a plain microphone which again is what it is looks nice enough and then we've got her video camera so she can do her work she comes with a bow which is a little bit different to the ones that we've seen before so it is a bit of a uh, funkier color um so it's like a sort of translucent gray Hold it up to the light, you can sort of see through it. Nice little bit of pink on there. Underneath does have the attachment, so you can put all the uh, weapons together. And then... This one, which I believe we've seen already. Um, and again, translucent arrow. This one, again, another new one, is just a pink arrow. No idea why. I suppose it looks quite nice, comic book sort of feel to it. But it is a solid pink. And then we've got her two weapon holding hands that she came with. Uh, which is on her now, just so she can hold all her stuff. And then she's got her sort of karate chop hand there. We have got a closed fist for the other side. 
and her helmet. So that's that. The face sculpt on her is nice. Gives a really nice comic book feel, but with having like a little bit of realism with it. Um, and yeah, so everything the same on her minus the skirt pretty much. So I'm just gonna move her out of the way. And stick her back there. And then next up we've got Mikey. So I will show a bit of the articulation uh, just because there's a couple of new bits on there that's probably by now is not actually that. So here he is, he's got his double jointed knees, he's got the swivel on the bottom part of the leg, the ankle rotation, move side to side, up and down. Um, now his body does turn a little bit, so you can see some sort of movement in there and underneath all this he does actually have an ab crunch um obviously because of his shell you can't really do it so he's got the butterfly joints and a bicep swivel double jointed uh pinless elbow and then swivel on the wrist it goes up and down on that one and then his head does go all the way around. And then there is a bit of a joint on the neck in there, which you can see, uh, which does move slightly. Uh, the headband doesn't restrict it on the back, but you do have to be careful. You don't get it trapped and it ping off. So I wouldn't want to break them. Um, so here he is eating his pizza, which is from a necker turtle, which I stole my children uh, just because he has his mouth open it looks quite coy in that so I wanted to display him like that he does come with his uh, nunchuck daggers they clip together in there um, yeah they are what they are really they do fit underneath the bow but obviously you have to stick them together and then he comes with his swoosh effect. And then he comes with a couple of extra hands as well. So he's got the uh, another grab hand, uh, the open sort of posy grab hand, which is there. Uh, another one of them. And then he comes with two closed fists. So quite a few bits of uh, accessories there with them. So the next one, just because he's fallen over, is the black one. So these two come together, so we get a black and a blue in one pack. Uh, the articulation again and everything is exactly the same. He does come with two axes, so he has one that's been extended already, which is... Here? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Um, so there's his extended with a nice little lightning effect. I love this effect. I think it looks really nice sitting on there. Um, you can use it with the axe on the Black Ranger. So if you want to switch that around a little bit, it does fit on there. And then it comes with his closed one, which again, we've seen before. Slides up and down if it's not too stiff. Put your effect piece in the front there. And the power coin just sitting in there, which is very nice. And then he comes with his helmet, which is there. I love the lightness of this. It's um, the way that they've kind of kept the feel to it and then added those red eyes in there looks really nice um, it keeps resemblance to the black one <coughs> which I have here so they are very similar obviously because he's using uh, 
Black Ranger Power Coin. But it's got a really nice spin on it, so I like that. And then again, it comes with the same hands as previous, so I'm not going to go through all those hands again. Um, but he does have a lot. <laughs> and then there's his face sculpt at the top. He's got his goggles with his clothes band down. Um, all the articulation again is the same. And then he's got a little bit for his stick, which is a little bit of a pain to get in, but once you've got it in, it's fine. So there's that. And then that's what he looks like with that on. Um, now a lot of people have been moaning about this because on the front cover of the comic, he does wear this and then throughout the comic, he doesn't. Um, so he kind of has like one picture with that and then the rest he doesn't wear it. Uh, doesn't bother me, I really like that. I think it looks very nice. Um, so yeah, he's cool as he is. And then he comes with his friend over here, which again, save confusion, I am going to call the blue turtle. <laughs> so again, articulation is all the same. He comes with his uh, swords, daggers, or should be uh, a lance. So they do go together. So before I show you that, I will show you these. So we'll take that off. So it comes with two little bits on the end where you can just plug it in and you have got his lance there. So you can hold it like that or you can break it down, put it into two swords and he can have, have them on his back there. So they just get that out. So they just sit nicely in there and they look really cool as well, I like that. So there they are. And then here's his Ninja Turtle face. He looks very mean indeed. I think they captured the character very well in that. So there he is. And again, his helmet. And the same as the others, he comes with the same hands. I'm not going to go through them again because there is just so many of them. Um, and they are all exactly the same. So I'm not going to waste your time with hands. <clears throat> so there he is. <clears throat> and then next up is the red one. And he comes in a two pack with Tommy. So there they are, both together. And then, so there's his turtle face. And again, the mold is exactly the same. The articulation is the same. His helmet again is like a variation of the Red Ranger slash Ninja Turtle evil looking thing. But and then he comes with two of these. So there's his power sword slash daggers, which have an eyes. Give it to go power coin in the middle here and then the detail all around detail on the swords very nice they're both exactly the same and then he does come with his lightning effect piece which you can swap with uh cotton tommy sword it's a generic one we've seen before so nothing new out of that and then his swords do fit in there the only downside to this, so it looks nice, but how close to the elbow that that is, uh, to the armpit, sorry. So when you're trying to put his arm down, it doesn't quite want to go down. It looks nice, but not very practical. Um, 
So there he is. And then we've got Tommy up here. I've got him on a stand just so he's sort of hovering behind. Um, and he comes with this ninja sword now on mine. And I don't know if anyone else has been having problems. So if you have, leave a comment below and let me know. Or is yours better than mine? So he is standard sort of body mold of maybe a putty um, with very minimal detail underneath on the body, which we'd probably expect from a foot soldier, so it's fine. Um, but seeing as it's meant to be Tommy in there. And uh, lots of detail on his armour. So there's like little scratch marks that are dented in. They're obviously supposed to be there along with his claw-like armbands. So the sword is, as I was saying before, is very top heavy with the effect piece. So after a while it does go um, and he's suddenly holding a sword like he's having dinner. Um, so take it off and it is fine. He has a small hole at the back where you can or you're supposed to there we go fit that in so if you want him displaying stood up without the sword in his hand then there he is uh, he comes with two weapon holding hands so he's got two of those and he comes with two fists so I've got him having one and the other which is why I have one and the other left over he also comes with another effect, which is a little punch effect. Now there is a mold inside to tell you which hand it goes on, um, which is probably not this one though, in my luck. You can kind of just float it on any other, but it does, oh, there you go. So it was the right hand. So it does kind of have a little Punching effect there. And then he comes with. So his civilian head here, uh, which is the same as what we've seen on the Green Ranger, just painted purple, basically. Uh, it's exactly the same as what we've already got with his headband, um, same face. And then he comes with this little mask. So all you do is attach that on like that before you put the head on and it will stay on there. It doesn't come loose. You can just shake it around. It's fine. So that's how I like to display it just because it's a little something different. I mean, we have a lot of variations of Tommy already. So a bit of difference on there is nice. And then he comes with his foot soldier head. is uh, fully masked. I'm not going to pop them on just because it's easier to get them on and off. And then he comes with a small masked down version. So if I zoom out a little bit, you might be able to see him. Uh, which can sort of go like that. And, he's, uh, and you can display him as though he has the mask down like on the Ninja Rangers. Which also looks nice. And then... And then lastly, we've got Shredder, who has stolen the Green Morpher, hence why he is in the shield. Um, this one, probably along with a lot of other people, is one of my favourite. He's got a really nice cape. The gold on it looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, I like that they've put sort of battle scars on the shield. And then again, he's got these, uh, I want to say bracelets. 
and then the detail on him is just so nice where he's even when they've added the wraps under there the downside is with the open hand he doesn't have a painted strap on the inside which to me i've been sort of displaying him like that so you're not going to see it anyway um the promotional art did show shred art uh, being able to withstand Tommy's weight so being able to lift him uh, I will add a photo at the end I did manage to do it it is very difficult as the figure itself is especially in the torso and I believe and could be wrong but I'm sure I've heard quite a few people say how loose he is and I don't know if that's just because of the weight of it although he's not a massive figure um, yeah it's just not that great so if you're holding something up like that it does kind of slide around a lot uh, he's got all the normal articulation so the head does go round which is fine the double jointed elbows the butterfly joint all that sort of stuff uh, it's still on there double jointed knees he is pinless so it just makes the figure look absolutely beautiful. He's got the Green Ranger power coin in there, if you can see that. It does look nice. Um, he does come with these effect pieces that go on the claw. They, I believe, uh, are supposed to go around that way, as though he's kind of gone. But, I mean, I could be wrong here. They do fit either way, so you can sort of have them like that as well it does come with two so you can put them on each um he comes with two sets of hands so he's got two uh closed fists two open palms sort of grabby combat hands which again are not painted inside i don't know if they're supposed to be but to me that is a blatant strap and probably should not be flesh colored so with a few of that bothered, you could probably just paint it black or grey or gold or green or whatever. And any of that would match. And then, lastly, his cloth cape, which is very nice. Um, that, to me, was a nice surprise. Um, having that cloth and not plastic like the Boon, other stu Boom Studios that we've had so far, so the Sentry, uh, Draken, uh, Ranger Slayer, they've all come with a plastic sort of rubber cape. This one comes with a nice cloth. So, very happy with that. Other than, as I say, he is a pain to try and get the stand up. There we go. <clears throat> so, let me know what you think of these guys. They... As a set, amazing figures. They're all out and available now. I don't know uh, the state of Shredder in the US, but I do see a lot of people that do have it, whether they're having to import that or pre-orders are coming out or they're picking it up from the shop. I don't know. Let me know where you got yours from. Uh, let me know your uh, opinions on these in the comments down below. It'd be nice to hear whether you're gonna be grabbing them, if you got them, if you pre-ordered and you're waiting. Are they a miss for you? You're not a fan? I mean, for me, I was a massive Ninja Turtle fan. Me and my brother used to love them growing up, so this had to be a grab for me. Um, look amazing with the Lightning Collection figures. Um, putting them in there with the Power Rangers. So, yeah, check out my Instagram where my giveaway is still live. Um, I've got some more reviews coming up. I'm just waiting for a couple of bits in the post at the moment so I can do a comparison with the Lunar Wolf. Um, I've got the silver boots coming in, so they will be in the next couple of days. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, see you next time. Thanks, guys.